everyone, this is Bethany the Crafty Girl, and I just wanted to share some happy mails that I received. I took the week off from YouTube and crafting and stuff like that. Um, I haven't been feeling all that well at the beginning of the week, and then uh, I'm just super super busy with work things and then I was playing for the pit orchestra for the musical at the high school here and um so I've been playing a lot and getting home late and dealing with other things so uh, that's kind of why I've been MIA for a little bit but uh, I did want to share the happy mails to let people know that I received them and the first one is from Laurel and she is Nurse Laurel here on YouTube if you haven't seen her videos you should go check her out she does some fun giveaways and she does some really cool projects too she entered my Valentine's Day challenge that was no red or pink and uh, she sent me the card that she made which is really cute um, I only have Magnolia Minis, but this one is is cute. And look at this cute tape. That's adorable. And um, I haven't opened, I got this a while ago, but I haven't opened anything. Oh, she sent an envelope. That's awesome. Hope you like the card. I left it like in case you want to use it. Aww. And she embossed it. I don't emboss much, and I should because I have the Sizzix little purse embossing thingy. <laughs> and a ton of folders. That's super cute. That's really cute. Thank you. And then she also sent me the tag that she made that also has a magnolia on it. That's adorable. You know, I wasn't so into the magnolia stamps because I think they have, like, they look like they have potato heads. But, um... They're kind of growing on me, I'd have to say. And I love this border punch. I don't have this border punch that has the little butterflies that pop. I love that. That is adorable. And some trim. And a lacy doily thing. Oh. So thank you, Laurel. Those are super cute. And then she also sent me two little goodie bags that she decorated. She decorated them so cute. And I didn't open them because I wanted to be able to show everybody, but... Um, she sent me some brads. Oh, that's nice. They come to to a pack. That's that's nice. Uh, one of the little clipboards and some Cupid's heart candy. Oh, cute. So that's what was in that little bag. Oh, and a little candy cane. The candy cane didn't make it, but I'm sure it is still yummy. And then here's this one with a gorgeous girl. Oh, she paper pieced her. Super cute. Thank you for entering my challenge. I don't know if you girls that do challenges feel this way, but I'm always worried that when I post a challenge that no one will <laughs> play along. Oh, cool. She sent me an image. Oh, I'll have to play with that. Awesome. And then... Oh, this is cute! Super cute. And it's like little trims to use and buttons to use and ribbon to use. That's that's fun. Thank you so much, Norelle. That is a cute idea. I don't know if you made this, but it is a super cute idea. Thank you for sharing with me. And then another candy cane. This one did survive. Look how cute that is. Yum. I do like minty candy. And then here's the little bag again. That's so cute. And I like how she did that. She just did one top note shape, glued it on the back, and then folded over so you don't have to rip it to get into it. That's a that's a super cool idea. I like that. So that's that was from Nurse Rell. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so excited to play with that image. I don't have that one. 
And then the other happy mail I got was from Steph, and she's M Chanted Steph here on YouTube. And if you don't know her, you need to go check her out because she has some awesome haul videos. I love watching her videos. She's so fun to watch. And Steph, I didn't even know you knew my address, so this was a super surprise. But she also sent me what she made for my challenge. This is a ginormous card. I was not aware. <laughs> It was so big, but I love it. And I showed my mom and dad it, and they loved it, too. They thought it was so awesome. So thank you very much for sending this to me. I, It is awesome. It is super, super awesome. And the clouds are vellum in the back there. I just love this. It's hilarious. And it says, I love you, s'more and s'more. And then she wrote me a nice little message. And, uh... And I think about you a lot, Steph, you and your dad, and, and hope you are well as well. All right, so, and then she sent me a whole bunch of goodies. Steph, you did not have to do this. So she sent me this Hello Kitty sticker book, which is awesome. I love that one right here where she's like peeking out. So thank you very much. I do not have this. Those are cute. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, and these are glittery. And then she sent me these cute little recollections flowers. Oh, I've been watching everyone's 90% off Michael's haulage. And the closest Michael's to me is about 4 and about 15 minutes away. Yeah, 4 hours and 15 minutes away from me. So it's not like a just hop in the car and go type of situation. Because, like, all together that would be, like... 8 hours and 30 minutes, maybe even 9 hours if I have to stop and go to eat or restroom or whatever. But <laughs> but thank you so much. Those are adorable. And then these TPC Studio Christmas Village Metal Accents. Those are fun. I'll put those in the stockpile for next year. And then these Scratch and, Stiff, scratch and Sniff Stickers. I will have to take these to school. My students will love you. They smell like donuts. <laughs> and then she sent me these little recollections banner little things. They are adorable. I love them. And then this uh, pack of doilies that are almost, they're kind of vintage-y. They're really cool. They're like very lacy. I really like them a lot. I have to put those to good use. And then this cute shipping tag that says, I love you. Um, two, I think these are the Martha Stewart coaster doilies. Those are neat. Some Studio G little flare buttons, which are super cute. And my mom loved these. These are little flowers, and we call them the Madam Habib because they have the... They have the animal print on them, and we just have an inside joke about that. But she thought that was funny. And then that's what she sent. So thank you so very much, Steph. You did not have to send all those goodies, but I am so glad you did. They were fun to receive and totally made my week where it has been pretty stressful on many levels. But um, thank you so very much. Um, and I, I just love the the card that was sent, this card, and this card and the tag oh that's a bag but those were cute too and the tag and just thank you guys totally made my week <laughs> and uh, put a smile on my face which was nice and then do I have some time I do have some time do you guys like shorter videos or longer videos me personally I kind of like longer videos because I can just let them play while I'm working on crafty stuff but um or, you know, they help me kind of fall asleep. Not that you're boring. No one is boring and nobody's videos are boring. It's just that the noise kind of helps me fall asleep sometimes. And um, I'm going to show you a quick little haul. Let me know in the comments. Uh, do you like longer videos or shorter videos? And I will try to comply <laughs> to what the consensus is. But um, I ordered from Amazon. Um, I ordered for another reason. And Carol, if you're watching, something is coming to you in the mail very soon. <laughs> as soon as I go to the post office. So 
I ordered from Amazon and I had done that little video about the Mimi stamps that I have and on Amazon they had some Mimi stamps that I had not seen before and they were a pretty good deal and I hate, I hate that Amazon tells you how many is left in stock because then I freak out and I want to buy everything because there's like one left. <laughs> but um, I went on ahead and picked some up so I got this one which is Graduate Mimi 4264J and these are all by Penny Black. So I got that one. Just thought she was super cute. This one is huge. I didn't realize it was going to be so big. This one. How cute with that little hedgehog. This one is called something. A Trip. And it is 4246K. A Trip. Super cute. Sorry if I'm not in focus. I have not been paying attention. Um, And then this one is... I really wanted this one. And this one actually came back in stock while I was looking at the other stamps, which was an interesting experience. But this one is called Stargazing 4282J. How cute. I really like that one. And, and I really kind of wanted this because I thought it would go with that star paper, that stardust paper I've been using lately. And then the last one I got was this one. And this is called Dress Up Mimi 4265H. And she's a little geisha girl. If anyone knows what this says right here, this little symbol, I would really like to know. So calling all people who read this language. <laughs> what does this say? <laughs> But I just thought she was really cute. She has a little heart in her hair. The only thing I don't like about these, this one is like that, and um, this one is like that. The hat is solid, so whatever color you stamp in is what the hat is going to be. Whatever you stamp this one in is what the hair is going to be, because the hair is solid. I'm not really a fan of that. I wish it were a line so I could actually color the hair, but I will not be coloring the hair on this one, because it's solid. But anyway, those are the new little stampies I got. I love them very much. And I love how they're so beautifully done because I really do think you can you can like leave them out as a little decoration too. In your crafty space. So anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. Hopefully I'll be back within the next week more regularly. Um but you might not see a whole ton of me. I'm doing my practicum for my master's this semester. So it's 90 hours worth of work. <laughs> so I will probably be around, but maybe not as frequently as I usually am until summer. Yay, summer. So um, looking forward to that. I hope everyone has a great evening or a great day whenever you may be watching this. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.